Hello everyone. Sorry, the last video uh, I have to cut it because there was some disturbance in the pen. It was not working. So I hope it will work now. So let us continue our discussion from where we left. Uh, there is a part one for this. Please, if you have missed it, you can. If you want to start from question number one, you can go to part one and then come back to here. Did I have to break it because there were some issues with the system? Okay. Let us continue. Which type of reaction is typical for halogenes? Halogenes are famous for nucleophilic substitution reactions. How do we do it? Normally, you have if 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 you do a rough idea of nucleophilic substitution, what happens is like alkenes they become halogenes. Then halogenes are exposed because of the bond polarity between carbon and the halogen, so it can be replaced by OH. So this is a nucleophilic substitution reaction. Which substance is not readily oxidized by acidified potassium dichromate solution? Alcohols. This is alcohol. Alcohol, and this is aldehyde. Normally, they can be oxidized by uh, the solutions. So ketones, because they have no hydrogen in the functional group, they cannot be oxidized. So this is what propanone. This ketone. This is the correct answer. What is the correct name of this compound? I have seen many students have issues in this. This particular question, but it's not hard. You just want to identify the parent chain properly. So if you start from here, this can be your parent chain here. This is the parent chain. This is CH2. You can consider like this. This CH2 is not here. It's like here. It's the same thing. If you if you pick this parent chain also, it will be the same thing. No difference. So what's the longest chain here? This is five carbon. So this is pentene, and when you have branch on the left side, so the counting will start from the left side. This is second carbon. So what will be the correct answer to methyl pentene? So the correct answer is D. Uh, don't make this mistake. This is not the correct answer. Like this is the butane only. Non this is not the parent chain. It starts from here. It ends here. Okay. So this the correct answer in this case is what? To methyl pentene. <coughs> Propane undergo incomplete combustion. Whenever it's incomplete combustion, it means it's limited supply of oxygen. So what's the product? Always whatever it is, it will be carbon monoxide and water. If it says some traces of carbon are also there, that is also correct. But in our options, we have only carbon monoxide or dioxide. So it's always this gas with water. What's the product between reaction between ethene and hydrogen bromide? It's the same thing. Like in the previous question, it was ethene and bromine only Br2. Here it is hydrogen bromide. Now when the double bond will break, what will happen in this case when the double bonds break? On one side it will be hydrogen, and other side it will be Br. Two are already there. So what's the correct answer? It will be CH3, CH2, Br. So you will get it. Don't try to do these questions quickly. It's better to draw the structures and become more confident. What are the characteristics of a free radical? Okay, it has a lone pair of electrons. No, they don't have lone pair. They have their own electrons, which they get after the separation from hom homolytic fission. It can be formed by homolytic fission of covalent bond. Yes, it is true because what is homolytic fission? Like you have a covalent bonded Cl2. They break the covalent bond. So they just take their electrons with them. This is homolytic fission. So this is basically what this is a free radical. So it's true. It is uncharged. Yes, it's uncharged. Their protons and electrons are same. So it's also true. So what's the correct answer we have? C, two and three. This is the correct answer. Which of the following products could be formed from the oxidation of ethanol? It's ethanol. This is alcohol. See what you can get if you will oxidize it. You will first get ether, nal, which is what, which is a aldehyde. Because when alcohols are oxidized, they become aldehyde. Then they become what? Carboxylic acid. So it will be ethanoic acid, which is a carboxylic acid. So what's what you can get? Ethanol. Yes. Ethanoic acid. Yes. Ethane. No. You cannot get ethane. So what's the correct answer? E. What is the reaction type when CH3 3CBr reacts with aqueous sodium hydroxide to form CH3OH plus NaBr? 
this is SN1 reaction. This is SN1 reaction. Normally, I told you before that halogen alkanes undergo nucleophilic substitu uh, nucleophilic substitution reactions. So, because their one one radical is involved, this is normally SN1 reaction. For more details about it, we have to revise the articles of nucleophilic substitution in detail. Which species is a free radical? If you see, this is charged species. It's not a free radical. Not a free radical. It has a lone pair. No free radical. This one is the free radical, which is CH3 uh, dot formed from methane. Which compound is a tertiary halogenolkane? Tertiary halogenolkane means that the carbon which is attached with the functional group should be connected with three more carbons. If you will access the, uh, access this one, let's draw the D one. D is the correct answer for this like you have CH3 then you have a CH2 then you have a carbon which is attached uh, with two branches which are carbon carbon and then a BR so this is the one which is attached with the functional group so attached with three more carbons so this is a tertiary halogenolkane. none of the others have this when you draw it, you can draw any one of them, you will not get this. Like for example, if you have A1, we draw A, CH3, CH2, twice CHPR. So indeed, it's like this, CH3, CH2, then you have CH, BR, then another CH2, another CH3. So it's not a tertiary halogenolkane. So D is the correct answer here. Which species reacts most widely with propane? So there is a reaction which alkanes do that is free radical substitution. This is the free radical. So what will be the correct answer? 26 alkane will react with it. An organic compound X reacts with excess acidified potassium dichromate to form compound Y which reacts with this which is the possible formula for so you see this is acidified potassium dichromate alcohols do oxidation in presence of this so X must be an alcohol which one of them is alcohol CH2OH this is an alcohol so this is the correct answer this is a carboxylic acid so no this is primary alcohol this is secondary alcohol and this one is also secondary alcohol or I think tertiary alcohol I have to check this is the correct answer which statement about successive member of homologous series is correct? This is a repetitive question. I think we have done before. The CH2 group. The following is a three dimensional representation of an organic molecule. We have how many carbons? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 carbons are here. Okay. So there is one, one branch also is there. Main parent chain and a branch. So let's see what options we have. The IUPC name is 2 methyl. Pentane. If you look here, it cannot be 2 methyl pentane because the parent chain can only have 4, so it can be 2 methyl butane, cannot be pentane. All bond angles will be approximately 90. No, all the bond angles are not same. One isomer is pentane. Yes, this is true because isomer is talking about isomer, so we don't care for the structure. The molecular formula is C5H12, so this is correct. The boiling point of the compound would be higher than of pentane. No, this is also wrong because it has a branch. When the branches are there, boiling point is less. So answer it should be lower here. Pentane has no branch. Which compound forms when hydrogen bromide is added to but2 in? We did this before. It is mm, 30 like this but2 in when hydrogen bromide. So we have two of these the double bond will break and you will have one hydrogen here and one PR here so this will be which one two bromo butane yes sorry my mistake it was but I said it's eighth so it has four carbons one two let's let's draw it again it's not Ethene, it is but two in. So one, two. But two in means that the double bond will be after the second carbon. I read it as eth ethene. 
my mistake it is after the second carbon the functional group is located after the second carbon I read it from here 1 2 now this is CH3 this is 4 5 6 7 8 4 5 6 7 8 4 5 6 7 8 now when the reaction will undergo it will be addition reaction so the double bond will break when the double bond will break what will happen there will be one place hydrogen and one there will be Br so even if you replace the position the favor in this case will be given to the functional group so in both the cases it will be 2 bromo butane which products can be potentially obtained from crude oil plastics yes can be obtained motor fuel can be obtained margarine no margarine cannot be obtained so the correct answer is 1 and 3 propane undergo incomplete combustion in a limited amount of air which product is again this is limited propane whenever whatever product it is if it's incomplete combustion it is always carbon monoxide and water okay guys that's all they were these are the questions which I had from the past papers of chapter 10 I hope you understood uh, thank you so much for your time see you next time take care